Hello, pal, pal. Welcome, one, and welcome all to the People's Channel, darling. Yes, honey, I have popped out another video for you, darling. So, in today's video, I just want to simply show you different stages of your Phalaenopsis orchid. This is what all Phalaenopsis orchid go through. And I want to encourage you and to let you know to leave your orchid alone just because something icky and something strange that you are unfamiliar with is happening does not mean your orchid is dead, nor does it mean that it's time to repot it. Okay, pal pals? So, stay tuned. <laughs> okay, pal pals. So, of course, when you get your phalaenopsis from the store, it's going to be in bloom. And that is going to be one of the stages of a phalaenopsis orchid, your blooming season. Okay? So, just because it's not in bloom and the blooms fall off, and even if the flower stalk dies back, just like this, okay? This is when you want to cut your flower stalk, honey. When she gets to turning gray and all kind of stuff like that. Because if you keep her, if you keep your flower spike on and don't cut it off, don't cut it off um, immaturely, I mean, it can produce a offshoot, okay? That's what they mean when they say rebloom, producing a offshoot. Now, if your orchid isn't doing any of that, okay, baby? I know you see that orchid back there. We're going to get to it. The next stage of a Phalaenopsis orchid is when she begins to have her rest period, okay? This Phalaenopsis right here, she is in her, some people call it dormant phase, meaning that she is not, well, according to people, she isn't doing anything, what she's actually doing is um, storing up energy in the right places and she's preparing herself for the next stage. She's a little bit tired from um, producing all of those blooms. So much so, and I hope no one is um, offended, but I'm trying to give you things that you can relate to. But you know, after you get through having sex, honey, and you get so tired, you got to go to sleep, take a break. Okay, so... That's what the Phalaenopsis orchid is doing when it's in this dormant phase. And as you can see, she kept her flower stalk, okay? It has not died back, and it is not dying back. So, when she gets ready to rebloom, she might rebloom from, from there, okay, Fal Pals? So, she might have a little dead roots in the pot, such as this, but it's okay. Just leave her alone. The more that you leave your Phalaenopsis alone, the better off it will be. The next phase is going to be a vegetative state, okay? Meaning that now your Phalaenopsis orchid is going to start dropping leaves and it's going to do it um, in a natural way, which is going to be from the bottom all the way up. You should never lose more than three leaves at the most in a year, okay? So this is the way that you want it to be, okay? Now, sometimes if you have the yellowing start from the bottom and then it works its way to the top and the rest of it is green, then that's gonna be an orchid deficiency. That's another video to look forward to, okay, foul pals? So I also just wanna let you know that sometimes you have some icky yicky stuff going on with your phalaenopsis orchid, okay? Now, this is an example. You should never have a leaf that come off from the top when it's still a leaf on the bottom, okay? Also, when the um, leaf is falling off and it's getting ready for its vegetative state, the reason the leaf is falling off is because it's going to use the energy that was stored into this leaf to start producing you new roots. You see the little nudge right there? That is going to be a new root getting ready to come out. And if you see one right there, that lets you know an uh, indication that she is in her vegetative state. And that can last for about two to three months, okay? Because we say the Phalaenopsis orchids are slow growers. The last phase that you have <laughs> is the death door, honey. Yes, and this is working right here. This is when you take her out the pot and you have no... um no roots and you want to save a sick phalaenopsis orchid that's a whole nother video honey you got to start um playing these playlists okay i'm giving you guys playlists on my channel i ask that you subscribe make sure that you comment because what i did not mention in this video you might remember and another foul pal will be able to use it we believe in a saying called each one teach one now if you want to be a foul pal on facebook join my group Okay, I will leave that information in the description box below. But I thank you guys so much for tuning in to Orchids for Dying.